Hello. How you doing? My video today is going to be about uh, installing the lamp stack on Fedora. Uh, lamp is an op is a stack of open source tools which are required to build web-based applications. Um, and the three, the, th the four components are obviously Linux. We have that. We've got Fedora, and but rather wh wh whether it's in a VM or on a remote server or in bare metal or whatever. And then the A is for Apache Web Server, Maria. It, I mean, M is usually uh, MySQL or Maria. They're kind of interchangeable from what I've picked up. And the P is PHP, although sometimes you might see it uh, also. The P might also uh, stand, stand for uh, Perl or Python. Okay, so, you know, and LAMP is, you know, it's the building block of web-based software like WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, OpenCart, etc. Okay, so the prerequisites I'm going to have to have are Fedora 36, which I have, pseudo user with admin rights, and internet connectivity. Okay, so since the first part is already done, L, we're going to jump right into the A, which is for the, um, the Apache web server. Okay, so here's my, uh, here's my terminal. And the first thing to do is to install the, um, the, the uh, Apache HTTP package. And I think on mine it's already installed, so you might not have to install it. It's already there, but we'll run the command anyway. Now DNF is good, it, it resolves all the dependencies, which is really good. I like it when dependencies are resolved by the package manager. And DNF does it for you, like HT, H, A, APT does on the, on the pop side. Okay, so it's already there. Okay, so we can clear out of there. You saw the command and the, the result, it's already installed. And then we're just gonna go and um, we're just gonna confirm it. Make sure it was actually installed. There we go. Apache 2.4, whatever. Okay, then a couple, a couple of commands. Uh, uh, you know, Fedora is system D based, so it's going to have the system control, uh, you know, command word to interface with the system services and whatnot. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to start the service. We're going to start it, and then I'm going to enable it for so it'll be persistent across reboots. And then I'm going to just check the status. Always look for a loaded and a green active piece of text. So I always key in on this up here. Loaded is loaded, and then it'll be enabled here so that it'll run next time and it's the main one here active active running green okay great that's what I always look for I always key on in this green stuff here and loaded active then I feel like okay I'm, I'm pretty good with that service then that's that part should be done okay okay so then um, we got a, a three uh, firewall commands to allow that that uh, HTTP traffic so we're going to go to the firewall settings I have here. That sets that rule. It's already enabled, but that's also that obviously allows regular HTTP traffic in. That's like on port 80, I believe. And then uh, there's another one S for port 443 secure HTTP port four four port 443 for that one. Okay, so we got those two rules set, and then I'm going to run the, the the third command to reload the firewall and have those uh, those uh, new rules updated. The firewall database. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to just verify the uh, that the server is actually working. So I I did uh, I have config to find out my IP address on my wired Ethernet for my Fedora it's on the Ethernet here so this is the address right here I'm gonna put in plug into my browser you see I've already plugged it in and then this is the, our test page 
and it lets us know that the Apache web service the, the Apache web server is up and running. Okay, so that's that's it for A, and then we'll go on to the M, which is Maria. Like I said before, you can it, it, it's also my sequel as well. I guess you can use that one too. But Maria, if you see one or the other, you're probably okay. Don't I I, I made the mistake some time ago of. Wow, I'm looking for my sequel, and my and Maria's coming up, or vice versa. But I, I think they're pretty much. If you do either one, you're gonna cut. You're gonna have your lamp stack covered. I think pretty much. Okay, so we're gonna. We're, the next uh, command I'm gonna do is um, that I'm gonna execute is I'm gonna install Maria a database and its dependencies, and these are all, again these are in the uh, default package repos for um, for Fedora 36. Which I can access with with um, with DNF again. So sudo DNF install. This is the this is the the base command uh, structure for DNF or for a lot of the package managers. Okay, and then we're just going to key in Maria DB for database, and we're going to get the database server going here. And Maria db and the dash y so we don't get prompted so we'll just go ahead and just do it without asking me and again there's all your dependencies and I, I, I flagged I passed in the y flag so it just all it just starts installing the package and all its dependencies without me having to you know uh, key in yes or whatever just does it for you and you just kick back and wait for uh, everything to in, uh, download and install. Takes a few minutes here. Okay, there it goes. And we're just about done here with downloading and installing the Maria database server on Fedora. 14 of 14 running scriptlet almost done okay that's that's done and then we need to clear the screen and just like with the Apache web server we're gonna check the status of, or we're gonna you know start and enable and check the status of of, of Maria so I can just arrow through my history here and find the same ones that I the same commands that I used for for Apache and we can just key that in now start Maria DB there's another way I'm not, I don't know if you guys are you know instead of going start and enable separately there's a way to do it on one line and that's enable, which which will will set it so it'll it'll uh, start the service upon reboot, and then a dash dash now for for start. So enable it for later, and if it's not started, do it now. And we're gonna we're gonna run that on. I think you can put the the Maria on this side. That should work. Okay, that looks like that that went through. So on one line you can enable it for now, I mean for later and start it for right now. And then we'll just check the status once this is done. Okay, that looks that's done, okay? I can clear the screen and then check the uh, status of of Maria. Maria DB same thing we're looking for green loaded active yep green loaded enabled active running green everything looks good to me clear out of there clear the screen now there's a there's um there's another kind of a uh, another uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, another um another pro another bunch of steps you could take to secure it but I don't really want to get into all the securing it right now. 
You could look that up on your own later. How to secure your uh, MySQL Maria da database installation. I don't want to get into that now, so I'll skip over that because it can get look it can get a little complicated. If you know what you're doing, you can really screw, cross yourself up. Okay, so that's pretty much so that's LAM, and then the fourth the the fourth component would be uh, PHP, and that's a server scripting language. It's an you know it's an open source uh, server side scripting language used for building uh, web apps, and uh, the latest PHP version I believe is like eight eight point one, and then of course DNF will uh, install PHP for me and all the dependencies because they're also in the default package repos for uh, Fedora. Okay, so to install PHP and the the, uh, the dependencies and other PHP models, we're gonna we're gonna run the another DNF command here. Same thing, DNF, install, and then the Y flag so we're not prompted. And there's a, that's the first one. And you're going to separate the different uh, packages, modules, whatever, by space. And then the next one is PHP. Common. I don't think we need the version number here. Back that out and just go with common. And then a PHP command line. So we can have PHP in the terminal. Okay, let's see what that does. DNF, there it goes. It, it, it's installing the core the core packages along with the the dependencies. Really like it when dependencies are found for, for me. I don't have to like manually install them or hunt around and all that kind of stuff. It's Dependency hell. I think it's what's called dependency hell. Something to avoid. Okay, 10 out of 10. Almost done here. Okay, complete. Security enhanced Linux always pops up. Okay, we'll clear the screen. So PHP has been installed. And then, and then we're going to test it. We're going to test it by creating a file, an HTML file. I like nano, I don't like V. And then I think HTML already exists. No, it doesn't already exist, so. Oh, I'm sorry. It's dub 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 is, is already there. And then HTML is there as well. And I don't believe the Fedora, I'm going to have to create the file name that's so the path the path is you know var you know uh, is it, uh, variable dub 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 html where you put your html file uh, source code files and the file name is going to be fedora php that's the name of the file fedora php so it'll, it'll give me a blank screen here and then this is just going to type out the uh, it's just going to uh, display the, the 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 PHP version that we have installed. So PHP PHP info is the method that we're going to invoke here, and then we'll close the tag. Close the tag like that, okay. And then uh, Control O saves it. Control X gets us out of it. Okay, clear the screen. And then I need to restart. I need to restart the Apache service. So these changes will take take hold. System CTL. There is a restart command, as well as start command for uh, systemd, system control. And that was the name of the service. So I'm going to restart the service. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my browser. And I'm going to go up to my home page just to have a clean start here back that out 
HTTP. Get rid of that. Colon forward slash forward slash. And it's actually the same, it's the same address, same IP address first for, and then, and then we're going to load that HTML file that we created. So that should be a good URL there. And it's not. What did Paul do wrong here? IP address for door.php. Oh, I'm sorry. Not HTML. It's PHP. My bad. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We weren't really necessarily uh, trying to display a web page. We were just trying to get the PHP version. My bad. Okay, so that that verifies that the PHP is installed and there's the version 8.1.8 okay good now so yeah that confirms this above page confirms that PHP 8 is, it has been successfully installed okay uh, that's pretty much about it been going on for quite a few minutes here so I'm gonna end it um, I hope you found this useful Please hesitate. Please don't hesitate to post your queries and feedback in the group in the group comments. And um, and also as a little quick note before I go, you can also install the LAMP stack on Windows. It's WAMP. There's, there's a an actual uh, platform you can install. And for for Mac, it's MAMP. Obviously, WAMP is Windows, and MAMP would be Mac. So you you can put the AMP stack on on Mac and Windows and, and on Linux you can also there's another one called XAMMP or something like that where all these diff th three different components are already bundled together for you in one environment okay thank you